Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at making printable calendars with iPhoto. So in iPhoto you have the ability to create calendars from your photos. You can start by say selecting a bunch of different photos and once you've got those ready to go you can then click on Create at the bottom and select Calendar. And this will quickly take the photos that you've selected and throw them together in a calendar. You get to choose from a few different styles. Uh, we can move around in here. Let's uh, choose the classic style for instance and hit Create. We get to pick when the calendar will start and number of months and also things that can be shown on the calendar. For instance you can choose U.S. national holidays if you wanted or for another country. You can also choose items on your iCal calendars. So you can actually create a special iCal calendar just for the items that you want to appear in a printed calendar and then choose that. You can also select birthdays from your address book. So let's actually uh, have this thing start in December because maybe if you're going to give a calendar as a present you'd want it to start uh, right away. But we can have it go say 13 months so it will go all the way through next December. And click OK and it will create the calendar and you can see it's going to fill in all of these photos that I selected. Now I didn't select enough to fill in everything here um, but I can edit each individual one. So let's double click here on the December calendar and I can choose the layout style one photo or shovel photos and I can choose the scaling for it and I can do all sorts of customizations to this photo and then I can go back to the layout and it will appear here on the right and choose all sorts of different things like say a, a background color for that image there. Go back to all pages here and select another so for instance I'm using up three photos here. Maybe I'll, I'll switch to a one photo layout. Therefore I can use those other pictures somewhere else. I choose this one here. A lot of customization options for each individual page. Now once you have finished your calendar you can click on Buy Calendar. You can create great gifts or just something for yourself to have. But you can also export these. Kinda. You want to go to Print, File, Print here and you can print your calendar. Now you have got a ton of different options because uh, there are a ton of different ways to print it. Here you can see this is going to be 28 pages. That includes like the front and the back and then the top and the bottom portion of each page are going to be a separate printable page. So if I just page through it I can see there's the top of December and there's the bottom of December. So the interesting thing is if I wanted to say just create maybe a quick printout for a calendar I can stick on my desk or on my wall uh, and I just want it to be basically this, just December. Um, I can do that just by going to Show Details then selecting I just want to print from page 3 to 3 and you can see I can just print this one out. I get something that's like this actually. Uh, just a single page. So it's kind of neat that you're you can do that and create these quick little printable calendars that look really nice, especially if you have a color printer. Um, and you can also scale them and try all sorts of different things. And another thing of course you can do is you can export using the PDF function. You can save as a PDF or just say open and preview. So I've selected only to have page three here, which is this December calendar. Go to preview. It's going to open preview up and there I've got this one single page. It's a PDF now of December. And from here I can even export it further. So say if I wanted to create a screen background that was the month of December I could actually export it in format JPEG. I can create a nice high quality one by upping the resolution. So if I did 300 pixels per inch I'm going to get a really high resolution uh, JPEG that then I can use as my backdrop or using some other program. So while all these creative tools inside of iPhoto are geared towards having you order these products and get them through the mail, you can also print them yourself. If you have a good printer you can come up with something pretty good or you can export them as a PDF and then take them somewhere like a local copy center and print them from there. Or you can do different things with them like say just printing a single page out of them for your own use. So there's a lot of versatility there. So take a look at the calendar function inside of iPhoto and play around with it and see if it's something you can use. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now.
Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.